hello friends Kishan is here again welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up postman uh, in Chrome browser so postman is a client software through which you can send requests to the uh, rest full web services so this is the project which I had created in my previous video tutorial uh, let me run this video uh, sorry let me run this uh, project uh, from main method and basically just we are going to deploy this restful web services on the server and consumer can query this resources from the browser right so here you have just we have exposed a very simple restful resource which returns a, a, a string and this supports for the get method right so basically just you are reading a resource from the server but sometimes if you want to create some kind of resources uh, on the server right so basically you want to support for the post method right sometimes you want to update some existing resource on the server then you go for the put method right so basically you have a crud operation in the restful uh, restful world right so c stands for create if you want to create some resources uh, on the uh, server then uh, you use basically post method if you want to update some existing resource on uh, in the restful web services then basically we use uh, put method right so post and put uh, basically uh, you cannot send a request through the browser right you require some kind of client software so that's why we require to install some kind of client software and uh, one of the uh, client software uh, which is very popular uh, to send requests to the restful web services with the chrome uh, uh, sorry postman which is uh, one kind of plugin which comes with the chrome right so there are many more i mean uh, tools like uh, soap ui so if you download the recent soap ui then of course you can send to the any kind of uh, uh, web services whether you have a soap based web services or uh, restful web services you can send requests to uh, both kind of uh, web services through the soap ui but uh, uh, soap ui is a uh, heavy weighted so you need to download separately but uh, if you, when we talk about the uh, I mean postman that comes with the chrome itself so in this video tutorial we'll install chrome and we'll make call to the this restful web services make sure that we are able to consume this restful web service right so this uh, project is up and running I mean our restful web services deploy on the tomcat default port 8080 let's try to first access through the chrome itself right so here go to the browser and type http colon slash slash localhost colon 8080 slash and if you uh, slash hello so this is the url pattern of our resource right so if you press enter then we are able to uh, get the output on the chrome browser but uh, here basically just we are reading a resource from the server right so that's the that's the meaning of get mapping right so this is designed for the uh, uh, get method right so basically just if we are reading the resource from the server but if you have a post method then you need to you might uh, need to some you might need to send some data to the server right so you require uh, require http body right so in that case we required a client software like postman so let's see how we can install postman uh, plugin in google chrome right so first of all you required a uh, chrome browser make sure that you have installed chrome browser on your machine so once you install the chrome browser then go to the google and try to search postman chrome and here you'll get the uh, uh, chrome wave store so let's click over here and here you, you see the button add to chrome so let's click on the add to chrome and click on the add app okay now here you got the this launcher and here you, you see the postman so let's click on the postman and uh, this is launching the postman just hold for a few seconds and uh, 
you can skip this sign up process but uh, this is highly recommended that you should sign in so that whatever work whatever restful services you are calling from the postman that will be saved even though if you uh, close the browser so i'm going to log in with my own username and password so let's uh, type email and password okay and saying that get started with postman let's click over here and now here is the postman now we know that our here we have earlier we have invoked our restful web services so this is the url complete url so let's copy this url and here you have option to select different kind of methods so currently we have only uh, uh, get method available in our resource right so we'll select if you want to create some resources then you might have interested to select post method if you want to update some resources on the server then you will have a put method uh, similarly if you want to delete some resources then you have a something is called delete method right so here you will have to enter the complete url of your uh, restful bf service that i have entered and there are many more things that we will explore later, explore later point of time but right now just in this video uh, I want to adhere with the how to install Postman Chrome uh, client software, right? As full client software, and how to make call at least one of the services is currently deployed on the server, right? So, so you will have to select get because this URI basically slash hello supports get method, right? HTTP get method, and uh, simply just paste this URL and click on the send button and wait for the response and see here we got the response right so in this video we ha you have seen how to uh, i mean install uh, postman on your google uh, chrome browser google chrome browser and how to make call to the your restful web services but in next series of web, web, ser web services next uh, series of uh, spring boot uh, tutorial we are going to create some complex uh, i mean resources uh, in the restful web service like uh, instead of uh, returning the some simple string message we will create some kind of custom uh, object uh, is going to return uh, by this restful web services and uh, and uh, that response uh, basically automatically will be converted into the some kind of json or xml that depends on the consumer uh, consumer if wants consumer to be consumed in the json format then will return in the json format if some consumer wants to consume this resource in the uh, xml uh, xml format then we can return them in the xml uh, form that's the beauty of restful web services in restful web services it will have a, a request and response in the many format right you can have a json simple text html and many more format right but uh, similarly you can send re request and response in many format but if you talk about the soap based web services then soap basically only supports for the xml communication right so you need to send soap request in the form of xml and you will get the response in the uh, xml format only that is called soap response right so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial